Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to permanently disable or in essence remove Windows Defender or Windows Security from your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Just want to point out one thing, that if you still update your Windows computer, there's a good chance that eventually Windows will turn back on Windows Defender or it will reinstall Windows Defender. There's a lot that goes on in the background of your computer, and if you continue to update your operating system, there's a chance that it will be turned back on at some point. So just keep that in mind. But with that said, we're going to begin and start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'm recommending naming the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So with that said, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for policies. Microsoft. And there should be a Windows Defender folder in here. Just go ahead and left click on that one time. Now, if you need to take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different sub key that we've gone under to get to this point. So with that said, now over here on the right side, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. Name this value disable anti spyware. First letter of each word should be capitalized. No spaces in between any of these words in here. Hit enter. And anti spyware is two separate words for the purpose of this as well. So go ahead and double click on it. Delete the zero, type the number one, a numerical value of one. Base should be hexadecimal, select OK. So one basically would make this a true statement. So disable anti spyware would be turned on. If you wanted to re-enable it, you could either delete this value or set it back to zero. And then you will need to restart your computer in order for the change to take effect. So let's go ahead and restart our computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.